Good day, people. Welcome back to Dizachi HD. It's Kenny1010, and we are back with our Shanghai SIPG career mode in the Chinese Super League. This episode, we will have a game, um, but we are going to start off looking into some potential transfers. Uh, thank you for the feedback in the last couple of videos. So we've got a couple of guys that we want to check out. You know I've been complaining about sort of formations and, and a couple of players. So we've got a few to look out. Um, one of them, if I can find him. If I can find him. If I can find him. Right, we've got someone called Deng. Um... Deng Hanwen. Um, so he's he's plays for Guangzhou High, Guangzhou, and that's actually who we're coming up against in a couple of days. So apparently, well, if you look at his primarily a report, we see good pace, stamina, tackling, and interceptions. Uh, Wang Tong is another one that we want to look at. Another right back, and he's at Shandong Luang. Let's just give a scout on him. As you know, I'm not really happy with our right back situation at the minute. I'm not too fond of the who we've got, and we've brought in obviously Tang Miao to to fill in that position. But he's just really not been not been doing a great job. He does primarily play as a sort of a right wing back slash right midfielder. Um, you know, he's got good stamina, strength, and not the greatest pace. I'm just not really happy with him. Obviously, our other right back options are well. We kind of got rid of them. So we don't have any. Um, Piazon is also injured, so he's going to miss our next game. Um, do we have any others to look at? I'm sure that we do. Yes, we do. Just scrolling through some comments. So we have Aguirre. Um, Aguirre. Eric, is that Eric? Eric Aguirre, left midfielder, Mexican, okay. Looks like he's got decent pace and stamina, 5 for 8. Alvarez, Edson Alvarez. Edson Alvarez, 20 year old centre back, okay. Another Mexican, 6 foot 1, he could have some decent potential. Apparently, they both have. 80 plus potential so they could be interesting we need to wait obviously for the scout reports to come back so that could take a little bit of time and we will not be able to sign them just yet but come the next chance window we will so i'm just going to advance this um Guangzhou game and uh, we are just going to be simulating past this one and the next one i think just to really get the crew mode going a little bit it means we have to pick up points later in the game that's not a problem with me uh hulk in at right midfield um But Syncraven's not really fully filled, but Yi Teng in. We'll switch up the, the back two, actually. Um, Wu Li's a bit tired, but haven't really got anyone else suitable to play in that position, to be honest with you. We'll put Chen Bin Bin on the bench. And we'll see what happens with that. It is away from home, and as you know how FIFA works, if you simulate any game away from home, you're probably going to lose. But I fancy my chances. I was right in doing so. Hulk and Elkson with the goals. Unfortunately, Higuan, um, the centre back, has got sent off. We gave him a chance, and it, he's not really made the most of that. So, we're going to be back in with our usual centre back pairing in the next game. And Wei Zen has gone up one rating. Perfect. Finally, gets some increase. Hopefully, he'll be at 60 rated soon enough. Um, I'm not sure what his potential is, but if we can get him 70 plus, then hopefully we can get him starting in the team. And that's a one match ban. Yi Tang says he felt he done. Good, yeah, not too bad. Our Halley next. We are top. Um, they are joint with us. Um, we're gonna mix up the team and simulate past this one as well. We really do need some rotation players, don't we? Uh, Higuan's gonna have to play simply because he's full of energy. Uh, mainly because he got sent off in the fucking first half. You idiot. Um, so we're just gonna go with this team against Al Halley. If we win, we will just top this group. Um, if we lose, it will depend on the other results from Suwon Samsung. They lost to us in the first game when we were playing that. That was the first game we ever played in a 1-0 win. 
2-1 win. Super Elkerson penalty and Ru Lee also scores from open play. Love that guy. Mr. Reliable. So we are top of the Chinese Super League and we're top of the uh, Asia Cup as well. Potential management jobs. Peru and Northern Ireland. I'm going to say no to both. Possibly if the China job comes up, maybe we should have a look at taking that. It'd give us some more of a, a look into into the ratings of the Chinese players without having to scout any. So that could be a way of picking up some players. Um, Han Chi He back in the squad. Andreas Pereira. Oh, there we go. Tang Miao, captain. Back to our full fit first team. It's another home game, so I'm going to have to go ahead and simulate this one as well. Hopefully we'll pick up three points against Yatai. Haven't heard of this Chinese club. I'm not sure if they're involved in the big dealings like the other Chinese clubs been bringing in Brazilian players. Oh, they have got Igalo up front, number nine. Tang Miao, hello. 16 minutes in, he opens the scoring and it ends 1-0. Still don't like him. When it comes to actually playing games, he doesn't perform, so... Couple of stats going up, no overall changes just yet though. Andreas Pereira's defensive stats going up, he will turn quite nicely into a decent CDM. And Higuan is back from suspension. So we're looking good, still top, and we got some scout reports back, super. Let's have a look. So Edson Alvarez, okay, 73 rated, 20 years old, 6 foot 1. Some decent stats, not bad pace really for a defender. Okay strength, it's not great. Jumping's okay, stamina's okay. Um, and then again, you know, tackling, that's okay. Decent ball control and passing, really, I guess, for a centre-back of that rating. I may look at getting this guy in, you know. He's about 4 mil. We could probably do that. Uh, Deng Hanwen is 69 rated, 5 foot 10. Um, okay stamina, okay pace. Not the strongest, but that's fine. Decent interceptions, okay, stand tackle, overall no stats jumping out at me there, um, but could be potential right back. Um, Wang Tong, 63 rated. Decent pace, but not really got it elsewhere, to be honest with you. 63 slide tackle, 65 slide tackle, 73 stand tackle to 78 stand tackle. This guy, he's definitely got the pace to play in that position, but he's really not great on the other stats and he's obviously a couple years older than Deng Hanwen as well and then we have Eric Aguirre 5 for 8 71 rated as well um, I say as well no one else is 3.6 mil he's worth is um, lovely bit of pace 88 acceleration 87 sprint speed decent stamina and balance and agility is okay short pass and shot power only green stats there but we could definitely train him up being 71 rated um Let's have a look into doing some deal guys. Deal guys? Deals guys. Um, although I'm just curious, when is the transfer window going to come along? Is it July? Okay, so is that the end of the season? Mm, no. <laughs> so we got some time to go, but we know we need a backup left mid. And we know we need a backup right back. So I'm pretty happy with the two guys that we've got. There on our short list, so we're gonna go for Deng Hanwen. He's only just moved, and they oh, fuck's sake. Um, do you know what? I might just get Wang Tong. We need someone who can sort of play back up in the position. He can play CDM and right mid as well. He's only gonna put us down about four hundred k. So it's you know it's not the end of the world if he eventually gets sold or loaned out. It would just be nice to have someone to play in that position. We'll have gone off of 420k. Hopefully that'll be enough. Yep. Super, that's gone straight through. Um, and in the left mid position, let's pick up Aguirre. Someone different. Um, I don't know. Yep. Someone different. Never picked up this guy or heard of him before, so... Could be okay. Off a transfer fee. Let's see if we can get him for 3.9 if we give him a sell on clause. 11%. 5.6, okay. Let's negotiate that down. 5. Perfect, they'll take 5. Super. So we just need to negotiate the actual contracts of these players. Aguirre can play left mid and centre mid as well, it's quite interesting. 
doubt he's going to get much play time though in the sentiment CDM position that we have. He wants to be important. I'll, I'll accept that. As long as he takes a big fat contract. Yeah, I knew he was going to do that. Always go for two years. He's not going to be starting because we've got Ruli starting, but Ruli can move more central. Um, especially if we change up formation, Aguero will get into the team every week. Fifteen K waste, two hundred K signing bonus. Fair offer, Klein is happy with that super. Um, what positions can Alvarez play? Sun at back or CDM. I do quite like the look of him, but again, there's a lot of um, non-Chinese players that we're bringing in. Dinlin is a one. Can't get him. Can't get him. Right, we will just go for Wang Tong. He's got 81 sprint speed, he might be okay. Do you know what? For the price that we're getting him at as well, it's not really that bad. Prospect? <laughs> yeah, sporadic. Cool. So he's not going to be complaining about playtime constantly, which is something good. Yeah, we'll give him four years, I'm sure he'll take that, yeah. It's not on tons of... No, we don't... Why? No, I have no release clause. Why would you even... Just just skip over that. Come on. 2.2k wage. Easy. Easy. So that is two players we will be bringing in come the July summer transfer window. Um, next game is against Guizhou. And our lineup is looking like so. We're just going to make this one last. Just game that we're just going to simulate past. And then we'll pick up in the next episode and get a game on 2-1 win Hulk and Wu Li again these two pairing up quite nicely getting the goals Asia Cup is next Chen Binbin Bin has gone up to 63 rated lovely stats not great so this next game um, as long as we get a point from it I think that will be fine but we will be picking that up in the next episode guys so if you've enjoyed this just leave a like Drop a comment of what you thought and remember to please subscribe. I love the support that you guys give us. Bye.